Aside from the mess you see around it, this is my computer. I've uh, kind of been inspired. I just watched this video by the Key Keeper, Walsh Monster 2005, on his computer setup, and I've been kicking around the idea of doing this video for a while, and to be honest, I just never got around to it. So, I'm running a home-built computer. Uh, you can see a DVD burner, 3.5 floppy drive on the front. It's running an 8-bit IL-8 motherboard, 4 gigs of DDR2 memory, a Pentium D processor at 2.6 gigahertz. I've got a dual-head GeForce card. I've got a video capture card in there as well. And lots of dirt and cobwebs. <laughs> I've got two hard drives, a 500 gig and an 80 gig. We'll get into the dual hard drives later. And just so you know, when I get my tax refund, I'm heavily considering rebuilding this computer into a quad core i5 with 8 gigs of RAM. Maybe even 16. I don't think I'll go 16. Uh, you can see I've got my desk here. Nothing fancy. 10 bucks at a garage sales shortly before I moved up here I it I need to clean it up more it'd be about the right size if I could get some of my junk off of here but I just like the look of it, it kind of has a 50 or 60s look which is a style I like I've got my dual screens I got both of these flat screens for free actually almost everything on here I got for free or cheap uh, IBM Model M out of the trash at college. Uh, Microsoft Intel Mouse, five bucks on clearance at Staples. It was a uh, display unit. Works perfect though. I've had it for years. Um, I got a Dell Ultra Sharp 19 inch flat screen. A friend of mine uh, upgraded to a 23 inch Samsung LED monitor, so he gave me this. Back in 2003 when he bought this monitor with his Dell computer, he said he, he told me he paid $700 for this monitor, which is very hard to believe at considering what you can get them for nowadays. And I will say, as old as this is, it still has a great picture on it. I flip back and forth. I can't ever seem to decide if I like the Dell better or if I like the Samsung better. And this is my other monitor, same friend, when he uh, was forced to move to the state of Florida. He was either moved to the state of Florida or the state of unemployment, so he picked Florida. He, um, he just couldn't take all his stuff with him, so he um, gave me his Samsung SyncMaster 226BW monitor. He was running this and the 23-inch and dual head on the same computer. And that's what he did. Um, for hard drive, I've got the 500 gig, which is partitioned. Oh, text message. Um, it's partitioned into a Windows XP partition, which runs XP 64-bit, and a storage partition. The 80 gig is running Ubuntu 10.10 64-bit. I'm experimenting with Ubuntu in order... I may when I do my i5 rebuild, it's either going to be Ubuntu or Windows 7. I want to give Ubuntu a fair chance. Decide if I can do all if I can do all my stuff on Ubuntu, I'm going to do that cuz well, that's going to save me 100 bucks. And for my chair, nothing fancy other than an $8 um body ball from Walmart. Uh, I just find it very comfortable to sit on. And if I get excited, I can bounce on it. Okay, I'll stop before all my uh, subscribers throw up. <laughs> but this is my computer setup. Oh, and uh, there's my right channel speaker, my first generation Paradigm Phantom. Other ones over there, and they're powered by... You've seen it in other videos, my Pioneer SX1250. I've just got long cables. The uh, computer runs in on the tape 2 loop, so I can record and play back through the Pioneer, which is great for ripping vinyl. So anyway, that's my computer setup. Now to attend to that text message.